It is about 11.30 in the morning here on September 9th, 2020. And here in Eastern Oregon, it is smelling like a huge campfire out here. So much smoke in the air from wildfires all over the Northwest. I am starting to think that I spoke too soon about a month or two ago when the fire season started. And I commented that, eh, at least it's a normal summer event and was, wasn't caused by plague-carrying, rioting, fire-spitting murder hornets. Although I think I was wrong about the murder hornets. It was probably murder hobos, it's starting to sound like. Unless, of course, the murder hornets were also accomplices in all of this. Fortunately, it does not seem to really be affecting the sunflowers or the bees that are just still having a heyday out here I mean, you got bumbles quite a few bumblebees interestingly and honeybees working hard at being a worker bee of the month i'm not seeing the wasps today maybe they're oh there's one Yeah, these guys have actually been pretty docile this year, so I'm not exterminating them too much. They seem to be doing a good job helping take care of our plants. And they already plucked the red pepper. There are a few non-red spots on it, but uh, there's plenty usable. Worked into our uh, scrambled eggs scallions today is quite delicious. Let's see, you got some orange ones, orange or yellow ones developing as well. Next year we'll see what we can do with Cleo here as our wild Irish rose. And of course then the big sunflowers, the skyscrapers, are going to cover both sections of fence. Also hoping that we get some seeds that can be uh, viable and pure. I'm hoping that to uh, be able to maybe try uh, breeding one of these orange ones with one of these others here. It looks very, very fluffy and feathery. Kind of like to get one of those growing with orange blossom, orange sunflower blossoms. But we'll see how it goes. That's a project for next spring, I think. That's it for now.